Yo, what's up fam? This isn't a breakdown, this isn't a reaction or anything. This is just me coming on here because my channel is primarily revolved around reacting and breaking down hip hop music and rap music. And while I might not react to the subgenre that Juice World was a part of, I wanted to pay my respects to him and his legacy that he leaves behind in rap and in the hip hop community. As everyone is well aware by now, Juice World, who is one of hip hop's rising stars or was one of hip hop's rising stars, passed away today. I don't know if he passed away from the seizure he had at the airport or from the underlying complications of that seizure or what have you, but that's besides the point. The point is that he is no longer here with us and it's an extremely sad day in the world of hip hop. Now, for people who didn't give Juice World the time of day because of the subgenre that he basically pioneered along with X and Trippy Red and Lil Peep and all of them, that subgenre is like emo rap, screamo rap, you know, pain rap, whatever you want to call it. Very big on melody, very big on auto tune, very big on talking about mental health and those kind of things. So regardless if you ever listen to him or regardless if you ever listen to that type of music, I'm here to tell you that hip hop lost one of its rising stars today. Now, a lot of people will try to diminish the value that he had in hip hop because of the type of rap that he produced. It wasn't extremely lyrical in terms of like having crazy bars or complex word schemes or anything like that or rhyme schemes. It was more just straight telling the emotion of his life that he was living. A lot of it dealt around mental health. A lot of it dealt around drug abuse and drug addiction and those kind of things. But I'm here to tell you that he was definitely one of the most talented people that new age hip hop had on its side. Him, XXX, Tentacion, and Trippy Red are probably like the leaders and two of them are gone. Now I don't really keep up with Juice World on like a personal level or who he is besides the artist that he is. I'm the type of person that is able to separate the art from the artist. I know a lot of people didn't like X because of the type of person that he was or a type of controversies that circled him at the time of his death. But from what I can tell, Juice World didn't have any of that. He wasn't ever really in the public eye for controversy. He was really only in the public eye for the music that he put out. And the fact that he is gone now means that there will always be a hole in the new generation of rap, or there will always be a hole in the subgenre of rap that he basically pioneered, like I said, which was that pain rap. And even though he was known for that, you know, Lucid Dreams, which was probably one of the biggest smashes of a couple of years ago, the only thing that I thought of when I found out about his passing was that song and was that video of that kid that was like just screaming it at the top of his lungs and then he got out the car and was screaming it and was singing and like stomping his feet at the same time. I know you know the video I'm talking about if you've been on Twitter or if you're like in the meme culture because it was a huge meme at the time whenever the song was popular. But regardless of the type of music that he put out, he was a raw talent. The dude went on Tim Westwood and spit a freestyle for an hour straight off the dome. Like I wanted to react to it, but do you realize how long that video would be if I reacted to an hour long video? When I break down the bars and react on my channel, the videos end up being three to four times the length of the actual original song itself. So if I were to react to an hour long freestyle from Juice World, I took my SAT in high school in a shorter period of time that would have taken me to break down that freestyle by Juice World, Cause he was spitting bars on that thing. But when I saw that freestyle for 52 minutes, the dude could write, the dude could spit bars. And it sucks to see someone of that talent go so early. He was shaping the new genre of hip hop in front of our eyes. And regardless of talent or not, it sucks to lose someone at 21. Even if he wasn't the artist that he was, his mom and his family outlived him. You don't ever want to outlive your children as a parent. Having gone through what I went through with my brother and the fact that we almost lost him to his V-fib attack a couple weeks ago, I wouldn't wish losing a 21 year old on anybody. It doesn't matter who they are or what they did. It's just super sad, man, whenever you lose anybody at 21 years old. It just happens to be that Juice World's popularity and fame brought his death into the spotlight. This should be a reminder to everyone that no matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, no matter the fame or the notoriety or the popularity or anything, you could be at the bottom of the barrel, you could be on top of the world. None of it matters because you're mortal and death waits for no one. And Juice World's passing should make it even more apparent that death waits for nobody. XXX Tentacion's death of murder inside of a supercar, that's not going to be something that any of us ever experience, so it's easy for us to distance ourselves from that. Lil Peep's death of overdose of narcotics on his tour bus, that also you can distance yourself from. But Juice World passed away in a hospital after having a major seizure attack in the middle of a Chicago airport. And that could be any one of us. It's just a reminder to stay humble no matter who you are because you cannot escape death. Stay humble, live your life in the best way possible, try to stay semi-healthy, exercise, spend your time with your family, spend your time with your closest friends, stop trying to impress people who don't matter, because at the end, when your time is up, that's all that people are going to remember you by.
But that's pretty much the end of this video, guys. Like I said, this is not a normal video. This is just me wanting to pay my respects upon his death because he was someone that was shaping hip hop and shaping the future generation of artists. And I also wanted to pay my respects because he was 21 years old. He had a lifestyle and a job and a talent that 1% of 1% of 1% of the world's population will ever get to see. But that doesn't mean he had lived life yet. So I just wanted to make this video and take a little bit of time to say that I wanted to pay my respects to him, who he was, and the legacy he's leaving behind in the hip-hop community. You know, thoughts and prayers go out to his friends and family and other artists that surrounded him. So keep your family close, keep your friends close, live life for memories, don't live life for goods, and don't live life for money because at the end of the day, none of that stuff is going to make you happy. And look at Juice World. You can't take it with you when you go. But that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to pay my respects before I drop the next normal type of video and before we get back to business as usual because we lost somebody in hip-hop today. And this channel is a hip-hop breakdown and reaction channel. But that's it, guys. I'm Ernest Adiano the third. Y'all guys are the third family. And like I always say, especially after today's events, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.